Hello everybody, I am Nico D. So today I am back with the Rock 5 ITX. So uh, I set it up to be my NAS. So I replace my uh, this one. So this is the Zima board. So I replaced the Zima board. So this one has only two SATA connectors. So now I have upgraded it with the Rock 5 ITX, which has got four SATA connectors so now three are connected can you see so one is free so I've got one drive it's an old drive just for testing right now uh, my two terabyte SSD and my one terabyte SSD is over here so uh, I'm gonna buy another SSD I would like to have one of four terabytes and I'm also gonna buy another uh, NVMe, this one is also for testing. I've got Armbian on it uh, with the legacy kernel, but now I am on the SD card with Armbian Noble with 6.1 kernel. So uh, the only thing that wasn't working was the SATA, and now that is fixed. So now I can use Armbian with the 6.1 uh, for my NAS, and it works pretty good. So I am using this uh, PSU, it's an old PSU, it is very dirty, it's full of dirt. I've, uh, I've fixed the fan so it wouldn't make noise because it is a loud fan, it's only consuming like 15 watts right now. So uh, I don't think this will overheat when the fan is out. So maximum maybe 50 watts and this is a 600 watts PSU so I think it will be okay without a fan I know it isn't made for it so other things that I'm working on this is the NanoPi M6 so this is RK3588 just like uh, the ROG5 ITX but this is the S version so this has got a display a 3 inch display and here is the Kadas mind, so this is an Intel uh, computer mini PC. So I'm testing Armbian on that, so that is great. So I'm happy to be able to use my ROG5 ITX. And that's gonna be it for this video, maybe? No, let me show you how I am using it. One moment. So I've got my mounts folder, let me press here, okay, so I've got my mount folder with all my mounted drives, so let's open this, so the first thing I did was select the partition I want to share go to edit mount options here this is on I turn it off and I do mounts at system startup I type in the name win to USB here and then it is mounted at startup you don't have to mount it manually so these are all here and then I've got my Samba, so first thing to do is sudo, sudo apt install Samba, I've got it installed, then sudo genie slash etc slash Samba slash smb.conf So I added all this, rock 5 itx share, comment share folder for on, on rock 5 itx the path is slash mnt, writable yes, guest ok, no, browsable yes, create mask 0777, directory mask 0755, valid users nico d, 
then you have to create your user. So let me close that. So sudo smb pass wd a nico d two times a password. And that is it. So then sudo smbd no sudo service smbd restart okay and now it is shared over my network i have my four disks shared and it is pretty fast so with windows i can get 280 megabytes a second with a 2.5 gigabit ethernet so that is pretty good i have got my nas set up well i can put it in my uh, closet so i can put my nas over there where there is room so now i've got my rock 5 itx in my closet it doesn't look too good but i'm happy if it works so here i'm busy with the cutter's mind doing the video edits of this video let me show you where the room so that's gonna be it for today it's just a short video telling you what i'm working on so the mind is pretty cool yes it is so these are the speakers from the mind so uh i'm gonna put this piece in it so let me record here and let's put down my mobile phone so now to the network and here it is 43 and here we've got it and here are my four drives so let's open this one uh, here's a big file copy and download paste and that's pretty fast 270 megabytes a second 250 can't complain about that so I am happy with my rock 5 ITX it does what I wanted it to do now I want some more drives for it so a 4 terabytes SSD I really want and a 2 terabyte NVMe for it and then I'll have everything that I need so that's gonna be it for today it's just a short video telling you what I'm working on so the mind is pretty cool there is one issue with Armbian that's that uh, volume knob with four clicks it's off and four clicks it's at maximum that's a small issue but otherwise Armbian works pretty well on it and here we are waiting for Armbian for this it already has got uh, Ubuntu 24.04 from friendly elec Ubuntu 22.04 Debian uh, friendly WRT uh, Androids so I've got Android on the MMC and I am booting Ubuntu from SD cards so I like this thing a lot it's pretty nice the display is small but it is handy to show uh, temperatures or uh, speeds from something yeah so that's gonna be it for today thank you all for watching please like this video subscribe to my channel i will make more videos the coming weeks about the nanopi m6 and the cutter's mind so please subscribe see you all later bye